years ago, she had never been in an airplane because of a fear of flying. Now, 25 year old Jessica Cox is a licensed pilot, which is pretty incredible considering she was born with no arms. Les Trent with her story of triumph and courage. This pilot is flying with no hands, literally. Jessica Cox is the nation's first and only licensed pilot who has no arms. When I tell people that I'm a pilot, they're like, what? Jessica was born without arms, but she can do almost everything with just her feet, from putting in her contacts to texting her friends on her cell phone, even playing the piano. Jessica has a black belt in Taekwondo. She makes a living as a motivational speaker, but always had a fear of flying. So Jessica decided to face her fears head on and got a pilot's license. She talked with our Jim Murray. How is it possible to fly a plane without hands? You know, I, I, it's even hard for me to believe when I'm talking about them. You just do it. Jessica invited us up for a spin high above the Arizona desert. Her lucky flying shirt reads, look, Ma, no hands. She showed us how she controls her plane. And I would have my right foot right here on the yoke and my left foot here on the throttle. And I'm using my big toe to push on the push to talk switch. So you feel perfectly safe? I do, yes. Is there any issue of safety at all? You know, there's not. After, you know, an hour, just like driving with her in a car after an hour or so, you don't even really realize she has no, uh, no arms. Our cameras were mounted inside the small plane to see Jessica in action. Watch as she takes off. Jessica uses her left foot to control the throttle. Then her right foot pulls out the wheel as she lifts off. It looks scary, but she does it like a pro. And watch, after she makes a picture-perfect landing, she stretches her leg and opens the cockpit windows. How was the flight? That was fun. Good for her. Doctors have never been able to come up with an explanation as to why Jessica was born without arms. She is the world's arms. famous motivational speaker who has overcome all sorts of obstacles despite her handicap. Last week, Jessica Cox conquered yet another big challenge, marriage. Joseph Pimentel with more. Filipino-American Jessica Cox once again proves there's no limit to what anyone can do. Born with no arms, the 29-year-old, who is the first person to earn a pilot's license with her disability, a second-degree black belt in Taekwondo, and a certified scuba diver, among other things, can add another title and accomplishment to her list. Last Saturday, Jessica Cox became Mrs. Patrick Chamberlain. To be able to celebrate this with all of you says a lot. And I want to thank you on behalf of Patrick and I for making an effort and being here. For many close friends and family, it was a dream come true. They all had hoped that one day someone could see Jessica the way they saw her, a beautiful person on the inside. But for Jessica's father, he didn't doubt it one second. Didn't think a lot, as I was saying, much about whether her future was going to be grim or not. I just assumed it would be great. From the outside looking in, it appeared to be a normal wedding with a few minor tweaks. With Bishop Oscar Solis presiding over the ceremony, rather than presenting Jessica with a ring, her husband Patrick wrapped an anklet around her left ankle. When they lit the ceremonial candle, Jessica used her right foot. Same with cutting the cake at the reception. For all of Jessica's accomplishments, she serves as an inspiration to many people around the world. None more so than three young women who attended the wedding. 14-year-old Ira Kaplan and 11-year-old Teresa and 18-year-old Anna Buckholz were all born with no arms. They have known Jessica for years through the International Children's Assistance Network. And to say they look up to the Filipino-American would be an understatement. Jessica is their role model. She proves to everyone that everything is possible and that you can do what you dream of. Anna said watching Jessica get married only proves that she and her friends can also find love one day despite their conditions. You won't have to worry about finding the perfect man. We won't have to worry about like all the wedding stuff like how is this ever going to work? We can just know it's going to work somehow. As for Jessica, she and her husband are off to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, where they will honeymoon for the next few weeks. Reporting for ABS-CBN, Joseph Pimentel, Pasadena, California.